Okay, just a quick video on the bell that Edward Leed Scanlon hung at Rockgate Park. I've been trying to remodel it, or model it, and I've noticed a few things from the old pictures, present day pictures. One of the main things, I think, is that used to have what I believe to be a rope attached to the bell, and it went up to a ring, a metal ring, that went around this hook, and if Ed didn't want company, I think Ed would just leave the rope hanging inside, nobody could reach it, nobody could ring the bell, no one could disrupt him. When he wanted company, Ed would simply throw the rope out on the other side of the door, and people could ring the bell and, and come in for a tour. What got me thinking on more stuff is when this rope was thrown outside of the door, it would have been hanging down into the diagram that Ed eventually drew on this sun door. Also, the clangor itself is basically a symbol for magnetic current, right? I'm not sure how it was attached up in there right now. They have wire hanging it. It just swings on a wire. But if this rope and the ring and the magnetic current symbol and everything goes in with the diagram itself, maybe somebody wiser than me to figure out what all that might mean. Because now we've got a ring there, a ring there, a ring there. And then this line would continue on with the rope line here going up into the bell. And then that would attach to another ring there, and that ring attaches to the hook. And the hook goes up, and there's another ring there, and that attached. I'm not sure how Ed had that attached. So I don't know if that rings a bell for anybody on what Ed may be saying through the drawing and the bell itself. It's almost it's almost like a three-dimensional drawing if everything does work together here. The whole entrance would be saying something. Follow that line up through, you follow it straight up, you follow it right up into the bell. Another thing I noticed too is with the clanger here, the way I've got it set up is when you pull the rope, this ball end is going to hit this ring up into here. Right now, the way they have it set up, this photo is from code144.com. Right now, the way they have it set up, I think it's too low. And I think just the arm is hitting on the ring, and you're not getting the proper tone. I could be wrong, but I think this should be set up in there a little bit more. So that hits that ring, and you get the proper resonance down below when Ed was still alive it looks like it was up more see the metal ring right there I believe it to be a metal ring and then the rope was knotted on and it came down there was a knot at the end of that rope so that rope wouldn't be conductive whereas going under here the rest is no discharge A couple other little things that I noticed. It's up in the living quarters. Ed's hanging bed. It's hung from chains 
what I noticed is on this end, the chains that come up, and then it goes to a chain that goes right to the ceiling. Over here, there's chains that come up, and then they go to a rope, and that rope goes up to the ceiling to hang the bed. I'm not sure why that is, but one side is conductive, the other side is not conductive once again. I don't know why. Maybe the chain broke or something. I'm not sure. Something else that's been kind of bothering me is Ed's pantry. See, Ed's got a kerosene stove here. Where he cook all his oatmeal and a lot of his meals. This is a concrete surface. Down here, these are metal surfaces that fit right into the corners. You can put your hot pots down there. Whatever you were making that was hot, you could put down there safely. And right above there, Ed's got this pantry made of wood. It's a metal rod that comes up through it, and it goes all the way up to the ceiling and is hung from the ceiling. Ed has a metal funnel hooked on there with, that he would fill with kerosene to catch the bugs that would come down so they wouldn't get into his pantry. That makes no sense to me because why not just have this top part sealed off good enough so no bugs will get into the pantry. There's a screen, a metal screen on the front. The rest was made of wood, wood shelves inside. As we all know, when you cook, a lot of humidity comes up that'll warp your wood. It'll damage the wood, warp it. You got a fire hazard there. I don't know if this was made out of cedar. If it's made out of cedar, then you got a better chance against humidity. But Fred to have this hanging so low to his stove seems really odd to me. I'm wondering if this was adjustable and Ed could move this up on this rod and move it up towards the roof when he wasn't using it. There's also a wire in some pictures that comes down for whatever reason, I don't know. I wouldn't have it hanging right above the stove. Wouldn't the food in here perish quicker because of all the heat coming from the stove? And wouldn't the humidity eventually destroy the cabinet itself? I don't know. I wonder if I'd have this adjustable or if I'd use this for something different. If this was used for his radio or in some experiments. I don't know. Maybe it was just really his pantry. But those are the things that I've been thinking over the last little bit anyway. Is Ed's pantry. It seems way too low to that stove. Ed's bed. Why did they use a rope to hang one side of it and then a chain for the other side? Why well, wasn't an all chain? So I gotta change this to a rope that attaches that. Right here. That would be a rope. And then Ed's door and the bell. Do they all work together? And are they telling us something more? Uh, that's all my thoughts for now. Hope everyone has a good day and thanks for your time.